all pathogenic antigens that eventually make their way into the tissues of our body must be presented to T lymphocytes, the cells of our cell-mediated immunity. The problem is, these T lymphocytes cannot actually directly bind onto these antigens. What must happen before these T lymphocytes interact with the antigen is a special type of immune cell known as the antigen presenting cell must actually engulf our antigen and once it engulfs the antigen it takes that antigen and it places it onto a special protein complex found on the membrane of the antigen presenting cell and this protein complex is known as the major histocompatibility complex class 2 or simply a uh, mhc class 2 and only when the antigen is bound to this MHC class 2 complex can the lymphocyte actually see and interact with the antigen and bind onto this antigen. And once it binds, only then can it begin some type of defensive mechanism, as we'll see in just a moment. So the three types of antigen presenting cells that we're going to focus on in this lecture are macrophages, dendritic cells as well as B lymphocytes, the cells of our humoral immunity system. So let's begin with macrophages. So let's suppose we have some type of infection taking place. Let's say a bacterial cell infects our tissue. Now, as soon as that infection takes place, the innate immune system will try to prevent that infection from spreading. It will try to localize that infection via the process of inflammation. And what inflammation does is it dilates our blood vessels. It brings more blood to that area and that brings specialized antigen presenting cells known as macrophages. Now, what do macrophages actually do? Well, macrophages engulf pathogens. Let's suppose we have the bacterial cell as shown in red, and this is our macrophage, and the macrophage engulfs that particular bacterial cell. Now, once that bacterial cell is inside the macrophage, the macrophage forms the phagosome, which contains lysosomes, and the lysosomes contain digestive proteolytic enzymes that break down and digest that pathogen. Now, when digestion takes place, what the macrophage does is because it's an antigen presenting cell, it begins to build the MHC class 2 complex and it takes that complex it places it on the membrane of the macrophage and then it takes a small peptide, the antigen from that bacterial cell and it places it on that MHC class 2 complex. So we have this antigen MHC class 2 complex that forms. Now as soon as this as soon as this actually takes place we have a special type of T lymphocyte whose membrane contains a special glycoprotein known as CD4. Only T lymphocytes that contain the CD4 glycoprotein can actually go on and bind onto the antigen MHC class 2 complex. So for example, we have some type of inactivated helper T cell that contains the CD4 glycoprotein on the membrane, goes on and binds onto this complex of the macrophage. And once this binding process takes place, that that ultimately activates the helper T cell and that also releases many different types of chemicals involved in, that, in our immune system and that activates T cells. For example, it produces cytotoxic T cells. It also activates our B cells into plasma cells and memory B cells and that begins the process of defending and protecting our body from these pathogens. 
Now let's move on to the second type of antigen presenting cell known as a dendritic cell. Now basically all these different types of antigen presenting cells do the same exact thing. They basically engulf our antigen and then they present that antigen on this special type of protein membrane complex known as the major histocompatibility complex class 2. So what exactly is a dendritic cell? Well, a dendritic cell is a specialized type of immune cell that is found in those areas of our body that are close to the outside environment. And that includes places, tissues like our skin, our gut, our stomach, and our digestive tract, as well as our lungs. So the air passageways of our lungs, like the trachea, the bronchi, and our bronchioles. So this is what a dendritic cell actually looks like. It has these projections, these dendrites. So let's suppose some type of foreign antigen is found inside our tissue and it comes from, let's say, some type of bacterial cell, the same cell that we spoke of earlier. Now, what this dendritic cell does is it basically phagocytizes this antigen and it basically engulfs it and the lysosomes break it down and a small part of it is then expressed. It's then displayed on this MHC class 2 complex that is formed by the cell as shown in the following diagram. Now, the dendritic cell is motile and what that, and what that means is it can then move into to the spleen or the lymph nodes of our immune system and it basically begins to interact with some type of T lymphocyte that once again has the CD4 glycoprotein, the proper T cell, uh, uh, T -cell receptor found on the membrane of that T lymphocyte. And when these two cells interact, once again it elicits some type of defensive immune response. Now, let's move on to our B lymphocytes. So recall that B lymphocytes are those immune cells of our humoral immunity, the antibody-mediated immunity. So B lymphocytes can also engulf and take in these antigens that come from different types of pathogens found inside our tissue. So B lymphocytes are part of the humoral immunity. When they approach foreign antigens floating around in our tissue, they bind to them via special receptors and then they undergo receptive mediated endocytosis. And that takes in that antigen into the cell. And once that happens, these B lymphocytes build the MHC class two complex and they place that antigen onto that complex and only then can some type of T cell, T lymphocyte with this CD4 glycoprotein bind onto this uh, MHC class 2 complex that contains our antigen and once this binding takes place that ultimately stimulates this B lymphocyte to undergo mitosis divide many times and it basically differentiates into two different types of cells the plasma cells that basically produce the antibodies found inside our blood swimming around our blood and lymph system and they also produce those memory B cells that are involved if reinfection ever actually takes place. So once again, we can conclude that the antigen presenting cell is a type of cell of our body that allows these T lymphocytes to actually interact with the antigens. What these cells do is they engulf these antigens and then they build these special protein complexes and then they take that antigen and place it on that protein complex and only then can our T lymphocyte that contains the CD4 glycoprotein receptor actually interact with this antigen MHC class 2 complex and create some type of mechanism, some type of defensive immune response.